Back at y'all with another video. Um, currently 12, 18, what's today? The 11th of April. I don't know when. I always say it, but I really don't know when y'all be seeing these videos. But uh, thank y'all for the support. Yes, I did kind of just wake up. I ain't really get too much sleep. I never really get sleep. I don't know if that's just a me thing or not, but I know I like to work. I know I'm going to keep going with this. I know I'm going to, you know, go up with this YouTube. But I ain't going to lie. The title of this video, it just kind of, I ain't going to say it interest. It, I'm, nah, it did interest me, but it, it shouldn't have because why, why, why is you doing this? Once I say it, y'all going to realize it. Woman hides son's body in trash can after he accidentally shot himself. She hid her son's body in the trash can. The accidentally shot him. I right, I guess she didn't want to get shot. I don't. I let's get into it. I ain't gonna. Lie. I I can't answer questions. I, I don't know. Get it up. Make sure it's uh, good. Get it. Some lady called DCFS. And, what? And kind of made some claims that you had a child that accidentally shot themselves. Absolutely not. No, I, not. It, it sounds crazy to me, too. <laughs> That's Sushi Staples, a mom from Illinois caught on body camera denying she has a son. The problem? She's lying. Man, this is crazy. You don't think they would know if you have a son? Like, you don't think they know... I ain't gonna. I don't know how much information police got, but I know they got a lot. Where they know if you have a child or not. Like, I don't, and who called? How did you know this? It must be like somebody of her family that ain't seen uh, R.I.P. the youngin in a while. That they must ain't seen him. A lady called and said called the people and said you had a son. How does she know this? It had to be a friend. I don't know. I think I'm being framed. I'll lay out the entire sad story that includes the death of Staples' 10-year-old son. 10 years. Thanks for joining me for Crime Fix. I'm Anjanette Levy. The case of Sushi Staples and the accidental shooting death of her son, Zion, is so incredibly sad. Staples is serving a two-year prison sentence for Zion's death. That's, she well, she didn't do it, but she hid it. My guy didn't even get to have a funeral. Like, he didn't even get to... He didn't, look at it. In a garage, one ain't even no cars in there, just just a trash can, and whatever this stuff is, just in the trash can. She pleaded guilty to hiding his body in a trash can for eight months. But eight months? In that, I know, like the smell had to be like, oh my. God, bro, eight months? Damn, I ain't even got a minute into the video yet. <laughs> um, this is not this is not a laughing moment. Eight months she hit her son body in the trash can. Like he wasn't like he wasn't nothing. Like nothing to her. How could you do that and live in the same house? But Staples She, she should have got more than two years. Actually wants even out if she of didn't prison do it. early. I'll have more on that in a bit. The investigation into Sushi Staples started back on July 25th of 2023 in Rock Island, Illinois. Police received information from a woman who had known Staples for many years. At first, it was just like a regular phone call, like, how you been, how you been doing, and stuff like that. And then I heard her, like, crying a little bit. And I asked her, I said, what's wrong? And she just stated to me that Christmas will never be the same again. Um, she then stated to me, I said, why, what happened? Um, and she was like hesitant to bring it out and tell me. She then told me that her son um, had, she was gone from the house and she told me that her son had shot himself. And who do you know her son as? Zion. Okay. That friend of Staples told... I knew it had to be a friend because ain't nobody just in nobody's business like that. She needed to... That she probably... It felt so heavy on her, she had to let it out. As it should, though, but this is your son. Like, he ain't... I accidentally shot himself. You left the gun out, loaded around him, and you wasn't at the house. 
I know I was 10 years old. I was a 10 year old. I, I'm, I was nosy. I was getting into stuff I shouldn't have. But stuff like that, especially nowadays, you shouldn't. Because if that, if what happened didn't happen, he could have took the gun to school and did something there. It would have been another situation. He could have shot you on accident. That would have been another situation. He could have, so much other stuff could have happened. Because your carelessness with your, with your items. Police. She's trying to get out, bro. Please. You hid the body for eight months. You trying to get out before you could you could do man eight months. Eight months you had your son body in at that point, did you love him for real? That that and she confessed to hiding Zion's body. Um, she stated that he shot himself at the time he was nine years old. Um, I said, what do you mean he shot himself? Um, how did he get, I asked her some questions like, how did he get a gun? Like, how did that happen? She explained to me that she had just stepped out to run some errands and she received a call from her daughter Serenity saying that Zion was gone. And she said, what do you mean gone? She said, why is he gone? Why is he, is he outside telling him to get back in the house? But she told me before she left, he kept saying that how he missed his dad or something like that. And he was crying because he felt like he missed his dad or something like that. We want our students to understand that they are capable of. So he spent his birthday in the trash can? She said cause he was nine at the time, so he must have turned 10. Then she said that um, Serenity said, no, he's on the floor. He's bleeding everywhere. She feared that they would take her kids away and she was scared to lose everything. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she said she still mm -hmm. had them there. She purchased, she told me she purchased a burning barrel um, from Home Depot or something like that, that you burn leaves and stuff in and she stored them in that. I'm like, what? And she said, yeah, he was stored in that in her basement. She said she tried to set him on fire. Bro, After hearing this, what? Island police, of course, this went to state. Pause, to bro. Pause. I need a moment to process. I'm not trying to laugh, bro. You tried to set your son on fire after he shot himself. You was worried about losing everything, losing your kids. Lose. Now you literally lost everything times two. Now that you tried to set him on fire, you tried to, it's like, I don't know my, all my terms with the police stuff and all that, but that's too far. That is too far. You sh he asked, that's when he accidentally shot himself. So on the spot, you thinking, let me go get a trash can. I know they burn people in this, so I can burn you nine year old son nine years old he he had people that loved him not only that your other kids are traumatized I don't say she had a daughter your other kids are traumatized they miss their little brother or older brother depend like they, if she called him he had to be young miss their younger brother now they gotta live with their mama he hit the body and tried to burn it. He probably had to help clean up the blood and bro. To investigate. And she put on quite a show. Take a look. Are you Miss Staples? Yeah, how can I help you? So we got kind of a weird phone call. Um mm -hmm. do you know Latricia? No. No. I don't um, know anybody out here. Some lady called DCFS. And, what? And Kind of made some claims that you had a child that accidentally shot themselves. Absolutely not. No, I stop. How could you look them in a face like that and just blatant just lie, just lie, bro? My like my whole body, of, I I wouldn't even be able to talk no more. That's my little boy. Where is this dad? Did they? I don't know if they ever say what happened to what happened. Where the dad at? And where the grandparents at? Like that, what he that that young man had people that. It, it sounds crazy to me too. That's what. I, I am so sorry about this. 
my ex-husband, his new girlfriend, this broad is off the chain. I have went down to Rock Island and filed a police report on her. Okay. I have went and put a restraining order on her. What's her name? Uh, her name is Tony. This girl is never in it. She has so many different Facebook pages she stalks me from. She has made up different names, called me from different numbers. I have changed my number, tried to do everything I can. Right. Unfortunately, I can never seem to get them served because they're always bouncing around in the Chicago area. Oh, okay. They're not even down here. They're though. not even out here. Staples insisted she did not have a son and was indignant that police were even questioning her. Here's more of the exchange. You guys only have girls? Yes. Okay. I have four. Do you want to see them? No, no, no. They said it was a son. I was just curious Sir, if that's even true. It's not. Okay. I, this, this is... I'm just... Um, it's a never-ending story with these no, I, two. I get, like I said, I'm not... She I'm not pissing me off because she's just saying it like she don't care. Like, in that eight months, man, you must have dealed and coped and just eliminated it out your mind that you had a... You pushed him out. You pushed him out of, like, out of you. He was nine. So he was going to school. You was taking him to school. Like... You was buying buying them food. You was doing all this. He not he ain't like he ain't working no job. He ain't do, so you basically taking care of picking them up from school, taking them to school, uh buying them clothes for school. You don't think he got classmates? You don't think he got teachers that's calling? Trying to see what's going on? Like, you ain't think he was gonna bounce back anyway? They get your name and they put it in any school system, anything like that. You gonna be listed as his mother. You know that, right? He was nine. It's not like he's an adult. Like he's like older. He got records uh, at places, doctors' visits, things like that. I'm not trying to bother you. Anything, but we get a call, no matter how crazy it sounds. We still gotta come up and see if there's any truth. And this is crazy. It is. This is very crazy. Okay. I have been living here for six years. I've never, my neighbors have never had a complaint. Mm, she pissed Don't me you old. think no. that my neighbors would have heard some, some, something <laughs> like that? They would have made a call or said something to believe, somebody. I would believe so, yeah. Just think about it. It don't make no kind of sense. This girl is psycho. Just so I can check the box off, can I look in your basement real quick and I'll get no, out of here? No, you need a search warrant to do that. Because she know that it's in there, bro. She know that it's in there. You don't think they... It's a child, bro. They gonna do. They gonna rush that. They gonna speed that up to make sure. And the smell of it should be like very strong. Unless she just got candles burning down, bro. Take, bro. Lock her ass all the way up, like all the way up. Cause she's just she's just sitting here and lie, just like that, like just sitting lie. Just, just straight up, no remorse, like none of that. I'm sorry, I'm not about to have no, my I, blood rights uh, violated because what? someone makes your rainous allegations like this. I know, like I said, it sounded crazy to me too. I'm just up here seeing if you know we have to investigate it. The police obviously didn't buy what Staples was selling. They had received a call about a child who hadn't been seen in many months. Exactly. So you just damn, they seasoning the shit up. What was that? I'm I'm sorry. I got I got this is not the bro. She she just kind of. Can I see the warrant before we walk yeah, any further? Okay. Just, I'm we have a valid search warrant. I want to take just a short, short break from this Sushi Staples body camera video to tell you about something that can help you learn more about the people in the time for us, for us. Truth find our lot. Even set criminal right they live in your neighborhood and you can't and crime body cam comms they're just locked in hand. Staples, of course, told them that's what they needed to do if they wanted to look inside her home. Okay, I'm scared to death because right? I don't so, know what's going on. And so the reason you know you're scared to death because you know you have your son, your son's body in a trash can. And they kind of let you off the hook with two years. You should have got charged with, with, I don't know what they would have been, been able to charge you with, but it should have been more than two years. Like you shouldn't, 
That's just about half the time his body was in that trash can. We're here, okay? It's because we're investigating a call that we we had, okay? The officers came out and talked to you last night, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, we have to handle that real seriously, okay? Because the allegations are that you have a son and that he's deceased and he's here in this house. Tell the okay. truth, bro. That's, that's where we're at right now. Do you have a son named Zion? He just like disgracing his name. Like be look like he just not nothing. I want to say that something else, but I don't want to put that like. You've never had a son named Zion. No. Are you claiming benefits for a kid named Zion? No, I haven't gotten any benefits for anyone. Staples had an answer for everything. Police informed her that the Department of Children and Family Services in Chicago had had contact with her children, including Zion. Staples again blamed her ex's girlfriend, who she called a stalker. You filed for public aid. You got your daughter. Gotten benefits since I was in Chicago, so I'm not sure. I told you my identity was stolen. Mm -hmm. My taxes were illegally filed. I went through a whole thing with the IRS. That was not me. But who is this Zion that was interviewed by DCFS up in Chicago, right in the presence of all your other children? No, there was the no Zion one Staples. No one yeah. was interviewed. Where, where did you say my name, Zion Staples? Was. Because the call was made about my son Kentrell by his father. Yes. It was never yeah. made she, about a Zion they talked, they talked But when him. they went there, there Did was. The, report? the only child that they spoke to because it was regarding him had frequent visitors. We had kids in the neighborhood come over. So Some of those kids that were implicated were not, in fact, our children. They were there. So you're saying there was apartment. a kid in your apartment that was not your your kid named Zion. I didn't say his Staples. name was Zion. No. Well, somewhere here, we've got to clear this up with this Zion yes. Staples. The detectives then confronted Staples about information they had received and the fact that she had texted someone about the police approaching her the night before. After that officer left last night, you texted this person and was talking to them. Taking him. pictures of them now. Well, there, we have to take pictures of the whole house okay. and then we'll search just to show that we're not like breaking stuff and everything else we're like not that. Destroying your place. So you were pissed off that the officers were here and then you. I didn't know who it was because. But what did she do with his stuff? Like shoes, clothes. You just like give them away. Clear, clear out the room. She has other kids. What is it? I ain't gonna lie. Bro, I'm telling on my mama, but she do some shit, bro. That's my sibling. Like, how you think they gotta go to school? Like, where your little brother at? Like, how, how they answer that question? Bro, I'm telling on my mama, bro. I, I thought it was this girl that right is, my right is right, wrong is wrong. And this is wrong to, like, the topest degree. Because you didn't... The, I don't know what would have been the, the, the punishment for you for that. You wasn't there. You left the gun unattended. I don't know if you would have got charged with murder, but you didn't get charged with it now and you burnt it. So I don't, I don't, it could have just went another way with this, bro. He, he, he was a human. Like he was a, a adolescent at that. Like a number again, because nobody has my number. So I thought it was her harassing me again that's why but i told who, the so officer then, so last night did you text him i thought it was tony you catch a break from this because we have the whole text thread between you two right after the officers left it's pretty personal to each other too like you guys very well know each other but i thought it's talking about somebody's daughter it's talking about it's going back because people are shitty they say crap about your kids for what but you guys know each other it's not a random just i'm texting a stranger getting mad it's you two know each other you know what people come after me all the time and these are the same people i lend my hand to i've paid for lawyers for people i've helped people do things. this ain't got nothing to do with your son bro stop talking so, People envy you all the time. What can you do about it?
Eventually, police told Staples she was going to jail. Turn for me. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to jail? What am I going to jail for? What have you I done? You just admitted to fraud. So now you're going to railroad me on fraud? Railroad you what? We're trying to figure out where your kid is. My kid. You're saying that he doesn't you're exist. my kid. So now you're trying to railroad me. I railroad you what? You Your did this to yourself. Just said he didn't. I didn't. I didn't get any benefits though. I didn't file any IRS returns. You're in if possession you of false documentation, and you already said that you you signed up and have them for financial aid. But I didn't. That's what I told you. Police searched Staples' house extensively, going from room to room, and then Staples was taken to jail. She was charged with several felonies, including concealment of a death obstruction of justice and failure to report the death of a child. Police found Zion's body in a metal trash can in Staples' home. He was wearing Spider-Man pajamas. The coroner determined he died from a gunshot wound, likely suffered in December of 2022. Detectives also interviewed likely when suffered in This is July of the next That's in December of 2022. Detectives also interviewed Staples' hairdresser, who offered some information. This past February, Sushi Staples was sentenced to two years in prison and six months of probation after pleading guilty to one charge. Last month, she asked the judge to reconsider her sentence because she is a first-time offender and she claims she had ineffective assistance of counsel. No decision has been made on her request just yet. Bro. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. Uh... She, they should have gave up more than two years. The rest of the child. I I know she didn't do it, and it was an accident. I I understand all that, but what made it her fault was how she hid it. You didn't have to hide it. Like you didn't have to hide it. You didn't have to cover it up. You didn't have to try to burn it. You didn't have to do none of that. Hide it in a basement for eight months. Like you didn't have to do all that. That that makes it your fault. Or her fault. That makes her fault. But I'm going to have to wrap this video up because she kind of got me hot and I shouldn't be hot right now. But uh, that's it for this video. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.